Hey guys, this is Bob from Clamshell Creations. Um, today I wanted to do a short video on shot plates. Um, There's something I use all the time and they can make a big, big difference in your work. Um, and they're fairly affordable. So, uh, and there's a whole variety of them. So I just wanted to cover some of the basics, but uh, this one here I've got from Buffalo Rutland. They make a series of, of nice shot plates. Um, I do uh, a lot of nautical stuff, so the it's nice to have the seahorses and the clams, and these are the little pieces that can come out of this little scallop. Uh, Tucker Tools makes some nice ones, and they have a variety as well. Um, little flowers and conchos, things like that. Um, and uh, they're pretty well made. And then here recently, I've started getting these, which are uh, Gemina. And these are really, really nice pieces. Uh, they're nice CNC cut pieces. And they're real precise. They've got lots of detail in them. Um, and I'm really impressed with these. They're coming a couple different sizes. This is the Moons. And they're a little larger, and they do these mini ones. And these come out of London, and uh, or England. And um, I've ordered three of these, and I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with them. Uh, really well done, and and very affordable. And I've seen these for sale on Etsy, and then they have a website as well. But they're, I'm impressed with them. They're really nice pieces. I mean, the others are nice too, but you can tell these a lot of quality goes into these. I mean, nice CNC cut where these, are, I think, are pressed. But um, either way, they both do the job. Um, but just for the money, these are really nice. And I'll show you some of the things you can do with them. This is one of my pieces, uh, Ocean Picture Stone. It's got uh, the little flowers, and that was from the Tucker Tools uh, shot plate. I use the little flowers a lot in my work. Um, just adds a nice little detail. Now this one is a Labradorite ring I did. Uh, moon and Stars. Um, the Moon and Star came from the Gemina, Gemina shot plates. You know, and I just used a hammer and my, uh, my little pusher tool. And you just put your, your uh, little metal ball would go in your, your die and then you put your piece on there and then hammer it flat. But um, I did all these by hand. And then this one is a piece of wild horse with uh, little conchos, again, the Tucker tools. And then um, this one is an ocean picture stone, but instead of using the shot plates, I used an actual little charm and I just cut the eye off the, the top of the charm with the octopus and then soldered it down to my piece and it had a nice little effect. But, um, and then of course all these have pattern wire going around them. But uh, again, with the shot plates, uh, one little tip is um, when you get these, if they're not already covered with oil or something like that, you wanna spray them. And I use like a WD-40 or a three-in-one oil and just make sure it gets in the little nooks and crannies and you can, you know, wipe them down, but it makes them release a little easier because sometimes your little pieces will get stuck in the die and um, they can be a little tedious to get out sometimes. I've never had much of a problem. A lot of times I'll just bang on it with a hammer on the back and it'll plop out or it'll come right out or you can pick it out. But some people use a little nail set, you know, and just hit it in the back and pull it right out. But, uh, it's just something to be aware of when you're using these. Um, you can also use a press with these. Uh, even a, you know, use your sheet, um, your uh, sheet metal, and you can put it right over. And then you'd have to have like a silicone or something that you could actually, where it would push it into the uh, into the shape. But um, so not only can you use 
you know, your little silver balls that you, you can make from scrap, but you can also use the sheet metal if the die is big enough. So, and use a press as well, like a hydraulic um, arbor press or a bench press, something like that. But um, very handy and something you really should consider if you, um, you know, you want to make good stuff. And uh, I mean, the, the options are endless. They're not real expensive. I think the Buffalo Rutland one, I paid like $115 for this one. Um, the Tucker Tools, I think, were a little cheaper. Um, you know, and they have a series of things that you might, or I don't use them all, but I do use uh, at least one or two from each one on a regular basis. And then they make a whole series of, uh, of these. I'd check them out. Different things, flowers and symbols and things like that, but they're really well made. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, the sky's the limit when it comes to your imagination and things you can do with these, but they really elaborate on your work and, you know, make things look uh, really nice. So I'd consider using them. And, uh, you know, clamshellcreations.com, we have a website. Uh, don't be afraid to go on there and take a look. We've got things for sale and uh, we appreciate you watching and hope you keep on doing that. Thanks.